Hey, it's Merck. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I used Twilio, Langchain, and Firebase to make a simple web app and text messaging app that lets me save my ideas and look at them later. So just a quick overview of the web app. You connect your number here. There's credits. I don't know. I was guessing probably if I were to make this a product, I'd have people pay credits for texts. And then just right here, I have a list of ideas that were saved from uh, from the text messages in Twilio. So if you go to Langchain and you go to the integrations tab on python.langchain.com forward slash docs integrations tools Twilio, you'll see that they have this really cool wrapper. And essentially all it is is like you run this and then this is where the text would be. And then this is the number that you're going to be texting. And you're going to need to set up your Twilio phone number and then you're going to need to configure some webhook, which I will get into in a second. So, so this is the back in here. I'm using Python Gen 2 Firebase functions with this single endpoint respond to text, and we're getting the request from the Twilio webhook that we set up over on the Twilio console. And we're going to get the body, which is the message from the Twilio uh, request. And then we're also going to get the from number, which is going to be who sent a message back to our Twilio number, so that'll be my phone number. And then we have a couple helper functions like save message to save messages to our Firestore and then get user ID for phone number. So whoever has connected this phone number to their account on the web app, we will have the user ID, which will be necessary for some functions later on. And then we have get user message, which is going to get all the user messages and we will use those for message history once we do that, we call the functions and then we save the message that the user sends. And then we have this big thing called answer text, which if we step into, takes in the text message, the user ID and the message history. We are getting custom tools uh, from our get custom tools helper function, which I only have one custom tool in here, which is a save idea for user ID, which is just a Firestore CRUD function. And the reason I'm using structured tool dot from function instead of tool from function is because I have two variables that are going to be passed into this function. So it needs to be a structured tool. And then we combine the custom tools with the default tools, which I believe is just Google search for now. And then we initialize our agent buddy class, which has a lot of flexible parameters that you can pass into it. So, such as the memory, the prompt, the prefix, the suffix, the tools, the, the type of chain you want, the type of agent you want, and the, uh, I guess I'm using the LLM chain here. And then I have this run function, which initializes our agent. And this is very important. We need to make it a structured chat zero shot react description because we are using structured tools. If you don't, then it's going to be hard for it to use the structured tool and you might get, run into some errors. And then we load the memory variables from the message history. And then I'm simply appending from user ID and then the user ID and sending that straight to the message so they know which user ID to use if they get a message about saving this idea. And we'll see an example of that. I'll put up a recording of me doing that in a second. Once we get the response, we save the messages and then we use the Twilio wrapper from the Langchain framework and then we load in our account SID, the auth token, and the from number which will be the Twilio number. So that's all the stuff that you'll find in the console for your active numbers on Twilio. Then you simply just run twilio.run response and the from number and then success. So without further ado, let's take a look at an example and I'll talk about what's going on. You're going to need ngrok for this. And the reason you're going to need ngrok for this is because when we're running this, this is a Firebase project and I'm running Firebase emulators start. It's going to be running on port 9002. And we have this endpoint right here, that long thing that says respond to text. And because we're doing this and Twilio does not allow you to uh, trigger webhooks or like make a call to like an HTTP endpoint, you need to make a web tunnel with ngrok. So all you do is you just install ngrok, look up how to do it. I'll drop something in the in the description below to show you. We copy and paste 
the base URL here and we will come back and inside of your active numbers on the configure tab you're going to go to message configuration and where you see webhook you're going to take this base part and copy and paste and then append anything else that your endpoint has save the configuration what's the weather in Austin Texas it should be able to find this because we are using Google search and you'll see that it says sent from your Twilio account the current weather in Austin is 64 degrees wind speed yada 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 I'm going to say save this idea a reseller marketplace for fitness enthusiasts and here we go, you see a reseller marketplace for fitness enthusiasts. So again, um, I'm just trying to show you things that you can do that are a little bit more in production, a little bit off of the notebooks path and trying to get a little fun with it. I think that it's really important that we try to do this and share these ideas and share how we're doing it so other people know that it's possible and that you don't have to just stick to the notebooks all the time. Um, I would say especially some of the things that are underrated here are using structured tools for things that are interacting with your database or other things like your vector database. I think those are something that at least I don't really see a lot of. I see a lot of just making chatbots with retrieval augmented generation. And obviously that's such a big thing, but I think, you know, sometimes we lose the forest for the trees and we don't, um, we don't see the fact that like we can do a ton of other cool kind of things that we couldn't before that make the user experience just feel more natural and more intuitive. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed the video. I will drop the code when it's done and I clean it up and I'll drop some relevant links in the description below. If you like the video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, I don't know, just don't come back. Uh, hate comments, love comments. They're all the same to me. Um, questions, especially definitely ask questions and join the discord. I'll put the link in the description until next time. There's no outro. So uh, goodbye.